So a few years ago, I put together a video on how to, well, it was kind of a review video on the Rode PS1 boom arm. Uh, and in that video, I also showed you how to mount it. And uh, there's two options that come in the box. You can actually drill a hole in your desk and use uh, some uh, provided hardware to actually mount the boom arm. It's a great solution. It's one that I used for the last three years. It also comes with a clamping mechanism. So if you don't want to drill a hole, you can do that too. But since then, uh, actually recently, I removed that desk. That desk is gone. It's no longer here. Uh, and I'm actually uh, using my Formaspace desk as my primary driver. I don't want to drill a hole into it. I also don't want to use the clamping mechanism. And I'm at a point in my life where I also want to move this microphone to, or microphone around more. I have the Shure SM7B. I like the way it sounds. And I, you know, I want to kind of film in different locations within my studio here. And so I kind of wanted to put this boom arm on wheels. If that's something that interests you, stick around. All right, so I did a lot of research into this to kind of figure out what the best solution for me would be. And I ended up landing on the Kupo Junior Roller Stand. This coupled with the Kupo two and a half inch uh, grip head was the perfect solution for me. The stand itself is super well constructed. It's the heaviest stand I own and uh, you know, way heavier than my tripod or other light stands that I've ever come into contact with. Uh, it has a wide footprint, which is good because it's gonna prevent it from tipping over or at least reduce the chances of the, of the whole arm, which is extended uh, and has a heavy weight at the end of it from tipping over. I don't want that. I wanna minimize that from happening. Uh, it actually extends up to nine feet. So my ceilings are nine feet. This thing pretty much touches the ceiling if I wanted it to. And then, then of course, if you wanted to add things to it, uh, you know, you can you can put other parts on it essentially and, and create a hair light and whatnot. But uh, for my purposes, I don't need to extend it that high, but just know that it's, you know, you can use this for other things down the road. Uh, again, it's sturdily constructed. It's heavy, it's durable. It has casters and they're locking casters. So if you want, you can lock the wheels by stepping down on them uh, and preventing them from rolling. Um, it's easy to lock, easy to unlock. And the adjustments, because you can find lighter, uh, you know, cheaper stands for sure, but these adjustable knobs just are ergonomically designed. They feel good in the hand. They feel sturdy. They're not little pins that you're twisting. Um, and it's and also the grip. The grip, uh, I, I picked it in the black because I kind of wanted the whole thing in black. Couldn't get the stand in black, but the grip is in a powdered black. I like it a lot. I like the way it feels. And the, the grippable part of it that allows you to make adjustments just feels good in the hand. And it's very easy to uh, unlock it, make an adjustment, uh, change the you know rotation of the actual whatever you have locked in there. In my case, it's the boom arm and then tighten it right back up. Also that the grip actually has different size grips, so to speak. So you can actually put different poles in there and you can lock them into place. Uh, you know, So I found one that perfectly fit the road. It was like the second one. Um, and then of course there's another knob on it that allows you, you know, if you, you can tighten it completely or keep it semi-loose. Semi-loose means I can still rotate the microphone 360 degrees, which is pretty cool and it's not gonna fall off, it's just, it allows for rotation. Setup is pretty simple. All you have to do, actually it's dead simple. I mean, the, actually the hardest part is putting the casters onto the stand because there aren't instructions for it, but there is a great video that Kupo makes and I'll make sure I link that in the description below in the event that you pick this up and you're pulling your hair out trying to figure out how to get the casters on. But essentially to get my configuration working, you plop the grip in there, you put the Rode PS1 into the grip, you tighten it, make your connections, and you're ready to go. It's that simple. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. As always, the links to everything I've discussed will be in the description below. And until next time, more important than anything, be kind to one another.